so yes, at Aptamin, we uh, produce promotional videos for mobile apps and games. And um, basically, it's video trailers from 15 to 60 seconds to present an app. And the first thing I want to say is that Video by itself is not going to be enough. Uh, you need a great app, but it's been said a lot today, so I'm not going to go too much into it. But basically, let's assume that there is a great app and that a lot of uh, the app marketing efforts uh, are here too. Then video is going to be one of the best assets available for app marketing. And I say that because uh, for us, we really believe that video is going to be uh, the best thing next to actually trying an app because in a very short time you can understand what it does. And we're going to watch a, a quick example of a game trailer. This is a pretty basic video, yet after watching it, you should have a very good understanding of what the game is and what the gameplay is going to be like. And uh, I'm not saying uh, screenshots and images are not good. It's uh, already a very good first start. Uh, with images, you will get a general idea of the game. But what's great with video is that not only you're going to be able to show the features and the benefits, but you're also going to be able to give a good idea of the flow and the user experience of an app. And here's a, a second example for a totally different app. You know how it is. Sometimes, no matter how hard you try, you just get stuck on that math problem. But it doesn't have to happen anymore. With the Math Inc. iPhone and iPad app, you simply draw your expression in the drawing area as if you were using a pen and paper. And Math Inc. will do the rest. The app combines Wolfram Alpha with Vision Objects handwriting recognition software. It's that easy. You quickly get the result, as well as each step to get to that result. And now, you can get on and solve the next problem. Or just go out and enjoy the outdoors. Download the Math Inc. app today on the App Store. All right, so the end is a little cheesy. The video may be uh, better a little shorter, but my point is that... Um, it's the same thing here. With images put in the right order, you could understand what the app does. But here, if you're supposed to have an interest in that app, uh, maybe you don't do homework anymore, so uh, it's less interesting now. But if you're supposed to have an interest in that app, uh, then you're going to know after watching the video if it's worth uh, trying or not, and if it's uh, worth something for you. And not only you're going to, uh, you probably as an app developer convert more users, but the idea that you might also uh, get more qualified users, and you know, therefore, better reviews, etc. Uh, once uh, you have a video, I don't know. Uh, maybe we can have a quick show of hands. It's not a French thing, I swear. Uh, just to know who's uh, who has an app and who's, uh, who has produced a video for it. Okay, so quite a, a good amount of people. Uh, I just want to go real quick uh, over a few ways to use video. And the first one is to reach out to uh, bloggers and journalists. It's something you can do even before uh, your app is released. And in your email pitch that you're doing, just include uh, a YouTube link. And what's great uh, with that is that a lot of bloggers, journalists use Gmail, and they're going to be able to watch a video straight from there. So the idea is to make it easy for them because they receive tons of uh, requests for reviews and uh, you want them to actually be interested in your app and to understand your app quickly. 
And here's a quote from uh, Erika Sadun from the unofficial Apple weblog, where she says that a video provides the quickest way to initially assess your app, letting bloggers know if it's worth downloading and testing further. So that's really the idea. It's uh, to quickly uh, let them uh, and show them what's unique about it. It can be in 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 30 seconds, but the idea is that it's going to be easier for them than reading your press release uh, or looking at still images. Uh, one of the big things, obviously, with video is that you can put it on the Google Play Store if you have an Android app. It's one of the most visible marketing assets on the page. Um, the description can be pretty good. The screenshots are a great thing, too. Uh, the video, same thing here, is going to give uh, a very good idea of it. And it's a feature the Google Play Store has had uh, for a while now. Um, you can now localize your video uh, from the people uh, that have uh, an app on the Google Play Store with a video. Is, has anyone localized it? I know we talked a lot about localization. One, OK. Well, that's something you can do. And uh, it's a pretty cool feature uh, because you want to, uh, to target the maximum amount of, uh, of people. Some pretty exciting news uh, next week and a big deal for app developers and for us, obviously, too. Uh, I've been thinking a lot about that little ninja since. And uh, it's that. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw, and someone talked about it a little earlier, but Apple featured the Clumsy Ninja app last Thursday, and they changed things up a little bit by putting a video on the page. And it's a 59 seconds video um, that you can watch full screen on the iPad, in portrait mode only on the iPhone, I'm not sure why. Uh, but the, the idea is that they're starting, that make, they're making that first step towards uh, allowing video on the App Store. And it might be just a test. We really hope it's real because it allows developers to better illustrate their app um, and to better set it. Another space where we've seen video more and more, it's been mentioned to uh, mobile ads, um, where basically instead of an interstitial, you can, you're going to have a short video, usually 15 seconds. A lot of uh, the uh, ad networks have included that new format. Uh, some of them are specialized in video, and there's one goal over there, uh, which, which is uh, doing a great job. Um, something else, uh, it's uh, Lily from uh, Love who that uh, mentioned it, uh, is Facebook ads. It's uh, still very limited. Uh, we're probably going to see more of them in uh, 2014. Uh, and the format that was announced is that you're going to have same thing, a very short video, 15 seconds, with a call to action right under it. Uh, when you launch a video, it, uh, the, the screen turns uh, you know, kind of black, and you watch the video, and you can quit the video and install the app straight from uh, your newsfeed. So that's pretty powerful and uh, something we're probably going to see more and more. Uh, 15 seconds is very short, so you want to uh, go straight to the point. Uh, a minute is already short when, you, when it's your baby and you want to show everything. Uh, but don't try to show everything, especially in 15 seconds, because you can't. Um, you want to uh, show what your app is all about, have a call to action at the end, and, uh, and stick to that. And I've got a last uh, example. Embark on Emily's latest adventure, her wedding. Join her on the ride of her life and help her earn the wedding of her dreams. Download Emily's Wonder Wedding today for free. It's so sure that it keeps playing. Um, so you might not be the target market. Believe me, it's an app that works really well. Uh, but that's not really the point. The point is that you, you have to, uh, to go fast and, and try to uh, motivate people to, uh, to download the app. Uh, it's the end of the day, and the cocktails are waiting almost, so I'm not going to go into too much details. Um, but a few other ways to use video uh, on, a, on your website, on your app website, your company website. Mailbox, Mailbox did a tremendous job uh, building momentum before the release, and uh, they had a great video, and I believe it played a, a huge role in their success. Uh, YouTube, obviously, uh, especially if you have your app on Google Play, you're going to... Um, uh, benefit from the, uh, the YouTube views on the Google Play Store, and it's going to increase your exposure uh, on YouTube, uh, and uh, you're going to be found uh, 
easier to in a Google search, and you're going to rank higher in the Google search results uh, with a video than with a traditional uh, page. You can obviously share it on, on social media. Uh, video can be pretty useful if you ever have to pitch an app on a live stage uh, and you don't want to, uh, to use live video, uh, which often goes wrong. Um, same thing, you can submit your app to awards, contests, uh, etc. Uh, one uh, last thing uh, so that we are uh, on video. Uh, it's a different topic, it's not promo videos, but uh, if there's any uh, game publishers or game developers here, uh, you might be interested. It's a, a company called EveryPlay, and the idea is that it's an SDK you install on your game, and it's going to let uh, users uh, comment game, uh, parts of the gameplay and share it on uh, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. So it can be a great PR tool, you're making it very, very easy uh, on your users to share uh, parts of your gameplay, and it's definitely something to look at if you have a game. Uh, I don't know if, you are, if we have time for quick discussions, uh, James. Okay. So my idea was to uh, make everybody work and uh, help us uh, with the following. Uh, a lot of people talk about how great video is, uh, it converts more, etc. But the truth is, uh, for an app, it's very hard to measure uh, the impact of video when you're promoting your app. And we've been thinking about that because we want to build case studies. We want to come back next time with the case studies, numbers, uh, something very, uh, very concrete to show you. And uh, the two, pla the two places we want to do that first are the Google Play Store and Facebook. And we want to start uh, with the Google Play Store. And here's our idea. And if anyone has an idea, please come up to me afterwards. If you have critic on, on the idea, I'd love to hear it. Uh, because we're trying to partner with developers uh, to build those case studies. Uh, we want to find, uh, for an Android app, to find two countries, languages that kind of have the same uh, the same users, the same stats, same behavior. And uh, let's say um, it's going to be Canada and the US. If they can have the same amount of downloads, et cetera, it's even better. Uh, I was thinking of, uh, of uh, Spain and uh, you know, in, in Catalan. Wh whatever can be, uh, can be localized in two different places. And uh, you can say it's one, one, two, that's not really important. But the idea is to have for one country, no video, and for the second country, a video. And then uh, the app will need to have the Google uh, Analytics SDK so that we can uh, analyze the acquisition funnel. And I don't know if you guys are familiar, uh, someone mentioned it today, uh, if you guys are familiar with that SDK, but basically it's going to let you know where uh, the people that come to uh, your app page um, come from and it's going to uh, let you know how many of those people actually download your app and how many of those people uh, actually open your app. So the idea will be to analyze this and uh, compare and get a, an idea of uh, the difference in the conversion rate and also uh, an idea of uh, do you get more engaged user and do they end up opening the app or just installing it. We're gonna wrap it up. Um, thank you, guys. Uh, I'd love to discuss that. Uh, if you uh, have any ideas, I'm happy to talk about it uh, with you. Don't hesitate to. Uh, that was this one. Don't hesitate to uh, visit our blog. James mentioned it. Uh, we try to share a lot of tips and uh, insights with app developers. Uh, so please uh, reach out to us or, or check out our blog. Thank you.